Hey guys, this is Light of the Outcast. Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. In the last part, we won our way through the games and defeated ja uh, Jack. No. Defeated Zack in the final. I've been slurring my speech all day today. I am really sorry. But, um, between parts, I updated my deck a bit for the next boss fight. Um, only thing that's really changed is that I added Seeker Mine. I only have one, uh, slot left to unlock. I can't wait to unlock that so I can use all eight of my skills. But, uh, I already saved and stuff like that, so we can just go ahead and fight the boss now. And this is going to be a fun boss fight. Because I'll just get to destroy him! Defeat Hades and the Ice Colossus. Basically, fire and ice combo. This fight is not that hard. Alright, what you want to do is Hades is a minor annoyance. Do not focus on him. Focus on the Ice Colossus. You need to stay still long enough. Okay, you know what? Forget the shot lock. Basically, you want to send your fire attacks at the Ice Colossus. And your ice attacks at Hades. And just ba basically blast the Ice Colossus. Seeker Mind? Extremely powerful. Look at that! Ice Colossus already down. Now for Hades. He can throw a fireball at you, which you can very easily deflect back. Okay, no. When he says I'm on fire and turns red, he's invincible. You cannot hurt him. Because he'll just be doing that spinning attack, which... They give you more than enough room in here, that's not going to do anything. Now, wait for him to turn back to blue, and you can hurt him. I can just get far enough away from him so I can do this. This, folks, is kick. Is that even hitting him because of the Ice Colossus? No, it's not. It's not hitting him because the Ice Colossus's body is in the way. Wow, that, I did not know that could happen. That's actually pretty funny. What do you know? You learn something new every day. Come on, you gonna throw a fireball at me? Where are you? Oh, oh of course, now you're on the other side. Oh, he's on fire. I have air slide. So as you can see, once the ice colossus is down, this fight really does not get interesting, and I do not have enough focus to do anything. Gotcha now, Hades. Oh, come on! Yeah, see, that attack, not that hard to avoid.
All right, you're making this take way too long, Hades. Finally! And we got Diamond Dust, which is the Ice Elemental Command style. Forge a D-Link with Zack, and we get Mark of a Hero. And that world was finished quick. I eh, still got plenty of time, so might as well show you guys what's what here. You can see we got another D-Link. We got one with Zack. Got the Diamond Dust Command style. The reports, you know, just story and character stuff. Oh, we got game records. Hit counts for Chaos Snake. Okay. Can't believe it got blocked by the Ice Colossus's body. That's hilarious. Alright, and of course, the new Keyblade, Mark of a Hero. As you can see, five strength, one magic. This Keyblade is horrible for Aqua. So, I don't see why anyone would use that. Oh, well, I know it's all personal preference, but still. Alright, now I'm going to show you how I'm going to be doing my grinding from here on out. Since I usually grind in the world that I just finished, uh, that's not going to be necessary now that I have Mega Flare. I'm going to show you guys a little trick. We'll go to the front doors. And I pretty much have every command I'm going to need for the rest of the game. So I'm not going to be training any more um, commands that I'm going to be using permanently. If I have extra commands in my deck, it's because I need the abilities. That's the whole reason I'm doing that now. 
So for this one, I want to make a new deck. Oh yeah, I also got absolute zero. Uh, you can find that in the, uh, you can find that way back in Enchanted Dominion in that little tower area right outside Maleficent's castle when you're trying to um, lo oh, mm, open the gates. Alright, what you want to do is equip two Mega Flares, preferably. More is helpful, but if you're just training skills uh, to get abilities, two Mega Flares is optimal. Do note this is for purely gaining CP. There's a different method of doing this for gaining experience. Which I will go over once I, you know, show you this. But uh, for now, I'm just showing you how to gain CP for your abilities, since both these Mega Flares are level 1. I'm just going to dodge past these guys, since uh, the Mega Flare takes a little bit to charge up. Now what you want to do is, once you have both your Mega Flares, you want to go to the reactor. Alright, when your Mega Flares are all charged up, make sure you have a good magic stat for this, or have full fire boosts, because you're going to need this. Oh, you're going to need those to make sure this is effective. Alright, you go down into the reactor. Three waves of Unverse will spawn. The first Mega Flare will take out the first, wa the first two waves, and the second Mega Flare will take out the rest. This is a really great way of gaining CP and gaining experience, although the gaining experience part has a little something extra that you'll need to keep in mind when you're doing it, but I'm just going to be doing this to gain my levels that I need for the next world and to get some more abilities, so I'm going to end this off here. I'm Laddie the Outcast, and I'll see you guys later.